Hi, and welcome to the next video in the Countess Shogun rigging series. In this one, I will be showing you how to mirror, or in Blender terms, symmetrize your rig. With Blender rigs, symmetrizing to the other side usually works quite well out of the box. But because this rig was initially made in a different software, we will have to do some manual work to accommodate for how that piece of software mirrored the bones originally. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that all the deformation bones are on one bone layer. That way it's going to be easy to make sure that we do not make any changes to the deformation bone, while the rest of the bones we can freely symmetrize and adjust. So now we can enable the visibility on all of the other bone layers and then select all of the bones. Make sure to deselect the mouth because we already rigged both sides. And now we can use the symmetrize operator. Just make sure it is using plus X as the source direction. Next, we can re-enable the deformation bone layer and start connecting them back to the rig. You can see here how the buffer bone is facing a different direction from the deformation bone. So we just need to match the buffer bone's orientation to the deformation bone and constrain the bone to the buffer. To align it, first select the buffer bone, then shift select the target bone and press Ctrl Alt A and that's it. The buffer is aligned to the deformation bone. Then switch into pose mode and using Ctrl Shift C, add a copy transforms constraint. And then we have to go through all of the deformation bones and their buffers and repeat the same process. I think this is a great demonstration of the benefits of decoupling the deformation bones from all of the rig logic. If we didn't have the buffers, what we would have to do is symmetrize the rig and then go through all of it and adjust the orientations between the rig bones and the deformation bones to make them match. But in this case, we have the buffers and we don't have to think about the orientations, we just match them to the deformation bones. Okay, back to the rig. Here, I'm already connecting the right leg to the rig. The bones we have to connect in the leg are the thigh, the calf and the calf 01 twist bone. And then we have the foot bone and the ball bone. And really, the trickiest part about this process is finding the bones we need to connect and selecting them. And now we can give the leg a quick test to see if it's working as expected. So it seems to be working fine and the last piece that is missing is the IKFK switch. So let's select the torso control and add another custom property. Then edit this property and rename it to leg r ik fk. Set the property value to 0.0, .0 and default to 0.0, .0 as well. Then right click on this property's value and copy it as a new driver. And if you remember from the leg rigging video, we have the leg driver bones that are hosting the constraints that do the switch between ik and fk. So let's select one of those, in this case the mch thigh driver r, then switch to the constraints tab and paste the driver on the second constraints influence value. And then we need to repeat the same process for the calf driver, the foot driver and the ball driver. And with that, in just a couple of minutes, we have successfully mirrored the whole setup for the right leg. What I will do now is pause the recording and repeat the exact same process for the right arm. After all of that is done, we have successfully mirrored everything we did on the left side to the right side. I also adjusted the bone colors so that we have a nice color convention between left and right. As I said in the beginning, symmetrizing involved a bit of more work because the original deformation skeleton is not from Blender. And by rigging it this way, we have preserved the compatibility with Unreal Engine's mannequin while still maintaining all of the benefits of symmetrizing the controls in Blender. And one of the biggest benefits is the ability to mirror poses between left and right using Blender's built-in tools. And that's it for this video. Please use the comment section if you have any questions or comments. And lastly, if you learned something from these videos and would like to see me make more, consider subscribing and maybe supporting me on one of the platforms listed below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.